Hello friends, welcome to the channel of PMT2 and today we are going to discuss about the second part of the Potent Talks and Potent Talks as we know that it is a brand of cefepine, amikacin along with L-arginine as a resistance breaker available in a 3 pack 625 milligram, 1.25 gram and 2.5 gram. Now moving forward, today what we are going to discuss in uh, today's presentation that what is the mechanism of action of potent tox, its spectrum of coverage, target indication and target speciality to whom we are going to promote the potent tox. Now moving forward let us see first of all the mechanism of action of potent tox. Now if here we are showing a bacterial cell wall, now this is a bacterial cell. Now this is the cefepine which is the as we have discussed it's a fourth generation cephalosporin. And this is amikacin, which is an amino glycoside group of antibiotics. Now, the mechanism of cefepime includes it inhibits a cell wall synthesis, and by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis, it basically uh, creates the osmotic gradient within the bacteria and lead to the rupturing of the bacterial itself. So, this is how the cefepime basically kills the bacteria by inhibiting the bacterial cell wall synthesis. Now second is the amikacin which inhibits the protein synthesis that is does not allow the bacteria to produce the protein by acting on the ribosomes. Now let us see the mechanism if we see the mechanism of action here both the antibiotic are acting on different target site on a one bacteria. Now this is really ensuring a good synergy between cefepime and amikacin in potent tox. Now moving forward, let us see the spectrum of coverage. This is the otherwise uh, potent tox is a broad spectrum antibiotic, but I am just here naming the few bacteria only against which potent tox has an excellent efficacy. Now when it comes to gram negative bacteria, the first one is a Klebsiella pneumoniae, second one is a Acinetobacter pominae, pominae, third one is E. coli, fourth one is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and in case of gram positive bacteria. It includes Staphylococcus aureus, that is a methicillin step susceptible strains, and Streptococcus pyogene and Streptococcus pneumoniae. Now, these are the main seven bacteria against which potent tox has an excellent efficacy in terms of the spectrum of coverage. Now, when we talk about the target indication, now what are the indications and what are the target specialty again for which we are uh, going to promote potent tox? The first specialty is a physician sector. Now, its qualification, the doctors which normally comes under the physician category include MD, internal medicine, intensivist or ICU in charge, physician with anesthesiologist or we can call it as a critical care specialist, MD, chest physician with pulmonary medicine or in other words also called pulmonologist and ID physician that is the infectious disease physicians. Now these are the main target indication which we are going to promote in potentos for physician category. That is a pneumonia and the second indication is the sepsis. Now moving forward for the second specialty that is a surgeon category uh, specialty. Now here the doctor's main qualification includes MS general surgeon, MS laparoscopic surgeon, MS plastic surgeon and MCH sorry MCH plastic surgeon and MCH surgical gastroenterology. Now the target indication includes SSTI that is a skin soft tissue infection, complicated surgical infections, burn code infections, especially this indication will be taken care by the plastic surgeon and intra-abdominal infection, this indication will be taken care by the MCH surgical gastroenterology and to some extent general surgeon also. Now moving forward to the next specialty that is the orthopedic surgeon. It includes mainly MS orthopedics, all of you know very well. And now here the bone and joint in infection, skin soft tissue infection that is SSTI and surgical infection are the main target indications. Now the last specialty that is a pediatricians to whom we are promoting that uh, we have a uh, 625 milligram pack of potent tox. Now MD pediatricians we will be promoting the pneumonia, intra-abdominal infection, bacteremia and sepsis and UTI that is a urinary tract infections. 
so these are the main target indications for the physician category of the doctors so this is all about for this uh, uh, today's uh, uh, second part of the potent talks uh, i would like that uh, i would request all of you to please like the our channel and subscribe our channel of upmd2 thank you thank you very much